We often hear that dating is the issue and marriage is the issue and it's no point in dating or getting married because relationships don't last anyway. And because of that, we all have these negative viewpoints about entering a commitment with someone. But the problem isn't dating. The problem isn't marriage. The problem is you. We are about to get into it, baby. I was listening to a church sermon and the topic of the conversation was holding up your end of the bargain. We say that we're gonna do things or we commit to doing certain things and then for whatever reason, we don't hold up our end of the bargain and we create justifications for why we didn't do what we said we were gonna do. And that really resonated with me because I feel like in today's society, we've normalized not being a person of our word. It could be something as simple as how we interact with our friends. We tell someone that we're gonna be at an event at a certain time. We tell someone that we're going to support them. And then when the day rolls around, we're like, mm, I don't feel like really doing that. I'm not in the mood, I'm not gonna go. And this is no shade to anybody because that's me, okay? I feel very seen as I say this. I am very much a homebody and sometimes I'll commit to something a couple of weeks beforehand and when the day comes, I'm like, dang, why did I do that? Why I said I was gonna go? But then I took it a step further and I applied that mindset to relationships and marriages nowadays. We often hear that dating is the issue and marriage is the issue and it's no point in dating or getting married because relationships don't last anyway. And because of that, we all have these negative viewpoints about entering a commitment with someone. But the problem isn't dating, the problem isn't marriage. The problem is you. I recently made a video talking about baby mom and baby dad culture. I am advising all women to avoid being a baby mom at all costs. Marry before carry. And if you don't think that you would marry him, don't carry for him. And if you don't want your kids to come out just like him, if that thought of a child being just like him gives you the ick, do not carry for that man. A lot of people challenge the marry before carry mindset by saying that, you know, divorce can happen and if you get divorced, you're still gonna be a baby mom or have a baby mom anyway, so that doesn't really matter. And it really struck me how that mentality, that viewpoint, paralleled what I heard in the sermon. Because if we're talking about the commitment of marriage, the idea is that you are committing to this person. You guys are doing what you need to do to make it work for the rest of your life because that is your end all be all. And to be very clear, I'm not throwing shade on anybody who has been divorced or supports divorce. It's not my place to tell you if you should or should not do that. But what I am saying is that divorce has seemingly become an escape route, something that that people pursue too easily because we don't want to deal with the commitments of marriage. In other words, when things get too hard, when the honeymoon phase goes away, when people don't feel like putting in their best effort anymore, you might say that there are irreconcilable differences. You can't work on it. The vibe just isn't the same. And the instant go-to is to split. And unfortunately, this is what happens when we have a whole bunch of people who feel like they wanna get married, right? It's something that you're kind of fed from an early age that you should pursue, especially by a certain age. And so we all have it in our mind that we should have someone, we should get married, but no one is marriage minded because they're not willing to put in the work to make a commitment last long term. And I think that this especially resonates with women, not because it's only up to women to be marriage minded, but because the desire to want to be married to build a family, I think, and you guys can let me know what you think in the comments, I think it's more so ingrained in women from a younger age where we will have a feeling of failure if we don't get married at a certain point or if we don't get married at all. Whereas with a lot of men, I don't really feel like that's the case. I am a lover girl, okay? So I'm not telling anyone to avoid marriage, avoid relationships. If that is something that's a part of your goals, of your life plan, then 
go ahead and do that. You know, live your best life, sis. I don't agree with pushing people into the idea of commitment when they're not in a space to hold up their end of the bargain. And I don't want what I'm about to say to get taken out of context, okay? So please listen to me, all right? Open up your ears, open up your ears, because we don't want any ladies out here getting played for a fool, okay? Never waste your time. I've been seeing a lot of conversations about what the appropriate time frame is for a woman to date a man, be in a relationship with a man before it progresses to marriage. And a lot of people will give this hard number, like if you're with someone for a year and they haven't proposed yet, you need to move on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I 1000% do agree that you should know where a relationship is going at the time that you enter that relationship. Meaning that if you really have it set in your heart that you wanna be married one day, I would hope that by the time you're in a committed relationship with someone, you guys have a plan for when marriage will take place or what needs to be done before you guys get to a point of wanting to be married, right? Sometimes maybe it's a good idea for marriage to not be something that's happened yet because I feel like people are thinking about the wedding versus the actual marriage in the sense that you really wanna have that title but you're not focusing on building the foundation that's needed for you to have a successful marriage with someone. You become so focused on getting the title that you're not thinking about maximizing the time that you have before you get to that title to make sure you're building a foundation so that when you do enter a marriage, you guys are both on the same page. Y'all understand that you're both gonna be dedicated to one another and put your best foot forward. We're kind of rushing through those steps and then there becomes a huge disconnect in the relationship. All of a sudden people begin to see red flags that they missed before because again, focus was on getting the title instead of getting to know the person and making sure that person aligns with what you want long-term. And then we turn around and say that marriage is the problem. And now we have this viewpoint that, hey, you know, there's no point in getting married because a lot of marriages don't last in the first place. And it doesn't matter if I have a child outside of marriage because if we break up, if we get divorced, I'm gonna be a baby mom or a baby dad anyway. We begin to minimize the value of marriage, of that sacred union with someone to justify the fact that we insert this dynamic before we shoulda. We weren't ready. We didn't do the work to maintain it. I guess what I'm really trying to say, if I had to summarize this message, is that we should all be mindful of making commitments, making promises to people if we know that we're not equipped to keep them. If I could go back in time and give some advice to my younger self, it would be to not be so focused on the fact that I want a relationship and I want to be with someone, but to really focus on working on myself for one, right? Making sure I'm in the right head space, but also just to be who I want to attract. Again, we have it in our head that we need to be with someone. So much of our value is tied into our relationship status. But at the same time, we get into relationships and we're stubborn. We can't communicate properly. We're not good at conflict resolution. We're really quick to shut down. We can be argumentative, holding on to the fact that we're right, not knowing when to pick our battles and let things go. Maybe we're combative. The list goes on and on. I've been there. I'm still here in some areas, right? But those are the things that I think we really need to put our focus into. If I'm pursuing this person or if I'm gonna enter a relationship with this person and I want it to last long term, I am going to take these steps every day, even when I don't feel like it, to make sure it works because I committed to this and I'm holding up my end of the bargain. Anyway, I say all that to say that the sermon, it was a really reflective moment for me. It really made me see that in a lot of my relationships, and that can be platonic relationships, but also in my past romantic relationships, I didn't really show up as my best self a lot of the times. I like the idea of having someone there, but when it came to putting the work in, to make things successful, I lack the skills to do that. And if you feel like you can't commit to working on those things within yourself so that you're showing up and being who you need to be in your relationship for your partner, then you shouldn't even be looking at a commitment in the first place. 